What's WebEx Control Hub? In this video, you will learn what's Control Hub and why it makes Cloud Collab services easy for you. Hybrid work is essential and IT admins like me need to support any sort of remote and hybrid workers to do their job. Nowadays, these collaboration services are of very different nature. However, the core services for any company are calling, where calling will be anything from an app to app video call to a cloud calling service, meetings, using an app to have a virtual meeting with audio, video, sharing, and whiteboarding, messaging, for instant messaging, file sharing, and other sort of rich interactions. Each of the services requires configuration to get my services up and running, monitoring to understand how we are performing and IT admins like me can take action before a severity arises or share insights on my environment with management. Troubleshooting to mitigate problems and investigate further any problem in my jurisdiction to prevent the recurrence. So, this multiplied for each service, it's equal to a huge effort and a source of pain. For this reason, WebEx Control Hub has become this one single pane of glass for the administrative workflows that IT admins need for all aspects of collaboration. So let's take a quick look at Control Hub. You can think of it as a web app that runs in the cloud, that provides visibility into the entire collaboration experience, from provisioning, security, and privacy controls, to onboarding and upgrading devices, analytics for understanding trends of adoption, interoperability, fun and interesting integrations with a number of apps and products, and also other services as well like contact centers, and on-premises workflows. That's Control Hub overall. But we talked about configuration workflows. For example, you can navigate to the organization settings to configure the specific settings you want for your tenant or tenants. Set up single sign-on or enable multi-factor authentication. Activate people insights, profiles, and more features for productivity and ritual interactions. License templates to give you control on what services a user has, as well different ways to add users depending on the requirements of your organization, going from manual to CSV, connectors to active directory systems and scheme integrations, diverse calendar integrations for our end users and such. What about monitoring? For example, meeting analytics, that allow us to gain access to a visualization of the meetings in Control Hub, or monitor the performance of your services to get insights around meeting engagement, participants, and even meeting quality. Another example is the data that you can get from devices if you build workspaces. With WebEx Group Systems and Group Navigators, you get access to a range of meeting room data, such as sound levels, temperature, humidity and air quality, occupancy data available, and of course, the option to download all that data. And talking about downloads, Control Hub offers an extensive report templates for CSV files, so admins we can use this data to create our own visualizations and report exactly what is required by the business. And finally, troubleshooting, for instance, you can search the email address of the person who reported the problem and display the meeting overview. Admins can verify participant details, system usage and mute status, and dig further as needed by squeezing the capabilities of Thousand Eyes, which is now integrated with Control Hub. Administrators only need to cross-launch Thousand Eyes to track the key performance metrics, visualize network traffic paths, and more and to complement troubleshootings alert center to configure alerts, targets, and rules. Now, to wrap up, remember that WebEx Control Hub is a single pane of glass for the administrative workflows that an organization and IT admins need at their fingerprints. 
go ahead and visit our resources that will be included in the description. Thank you for watching.